when I look at my modules, I can import and export modules. This is useful, so if I go up to File, I select the module I want to export, and I go to File and Export File. I can export it as a basic file uh, or as a text file. And if I do that, I switch it to All Files, change my extension. And in that case, I can open it with a notepad editor and see what's in there. If I highlight the module and I export it as a basic file, it looks like this, different file extension, I can still edit it. I'm not sure that one is significantly better than the other. Now, if I do that, I can also import. So here I've created a new workbook. I open my editor. I can import a file. I can pick that module. Uh, that I exported before or any module. Uh, I might have to change this to all files if it's a TXT file. And notice I got a plus and there's the module um, that was exported from the other workbook. So you can import and export these modules. Uh, makes, makes them uh, fairly modular, fairly easy to share uh, code, look for, uh, um, get feedback and, and different things like that. The other thing I can do is password protect my code. So if I don't want users, uh, power users that know about Alt F11 and Visual Basic Editor, if I don't want them in here messing with my code or changing things, I can uh, save, I can password protect it. To password protect it, I'll go to Tools, VBA Project Properties. protection. I'm going to check lock project for viewing and then I'm going to put a password on it. I'll save this. I'll just save it as test. And now when the user opens the macro, this is a security warning that we configured earlier. When they go to Alt F11 and try to enter the project to see the code, they're prompted for the password. If they put the wrong password in, they're denied. If they put the right password in, they can get in and modify your code. So it's a good thing to do uh, to protect your code from uh, some power users and things like that getting in and, and modifying uh, what you've done uh, if you don't want them to do that.